This is the Geometry Connection Area of Triangles tutorial. Let's begin this tutorial by taking a look at the formula to calculate the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle, in this case expressed as Q, is equal to 1 half base times height. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a couple different variations on that typical formula. I'll write them over here on the right. And to help explain these different formulas, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a triangle for us to work with. In this case, we're going to be working with triangle ABC. Now, in order to calculate the area of a triangle, one piece of information that you need is a height. So I'm going to go ahead and draw on the height here, and I'm also going to label our side length, side length A, B, and C. One way to think of the height for this triangle is to think of drawing a line straight up from either angle A or angle C. And then when you reach the height of point B, to draw your line directly over till it matches the top point there, point B. So what I'm first going to do is walk you through this derivation for the area formula of this triangle that we're looking at, triangle ABC. There are a couple ways that you could express the height for this triangle, the height being height H. You could express it as just h if you could see it here on the triangle as h and if you knew what its numeric value was. One way to solve for that numerical value for the height is to use this angle of reference here, angle A. You could say that the sine of angle A is equal to its opposite side length, which in this case is the height, so h, divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case is C, directly across from that 90 degree angle. To solve for just H, we could then multiply both sides of the equation by C. On the left hand side, we would have C times the sine of angle A is equal to, on the right hand side, the C's are going to cancel, and we have just the height. So you'll notice that we've taken the height from this formula in the area of the triangle, and we've replaced it with the value C times sine of A. That's what you see right here. Now, these other two derivations here and here are involved if you were to draw a height coming from a different vertice, so coming from either vertice A or vertice C. So now let's take this derivation of the triangle area formula that you know and solve for a practice problem. What I'd like you to do is solve for the area of this triangle on the left, triangle ABC. What we've been given is that angle C is 23 degrees, so angle C is 23 degrees. Side length A has a measure of 17 units, and side length B has a measure of 21 units. So which derivation of the triangle area formula do you think we're going to use here? Well, we're going to use this guy right here because we know side lengths A and B and sine of C. So the formula is Q, the area of the triangle, is equal to 1 half side length A, which is 17, times side length B, 21, times the sine of angle C, so the sine of 23 degrees. So Q is equal to, if you run all that through your calculator, you get a total area of 69.75 units squared. So this really isn't too complex of a change on the area of a triangle traditional formula. Now I'm going to teach you about Heron's formula. Heron's formula states that Q, the area of a triangle, is equal to the square root of x times the quantity x minus a times the quantity x minus b times the quantity x minus c, where x is equal to one-half side lengths a plus b plus c. So if you were to look at a triangle, these are the side lengths in triangle ABC that you would be adding up and then dividing by two to solve for x. So side lengths a, B, and C here. So now let's take a look at a practice problem in which I give you those side lengths for A, B, and C. So I'm going to tell you that side length A has a value of 5 units, side length B has a value of 7 units, and side length C has a value of 6 units. 
and I'd like you to calculate the area of this triangle, triangle ABC. Well, you want to begin using Heron's formula by solving for x. So in this case, x is equal to 1 half of 5 plus 7 plus 6. So x is equal to 1 half of 18. That's 5 plus 7 plus 6. And half of 18 is 9, so x is equal to 9. Now we want to plug that into Heron's formula. So q is equal to the square root of x, 9, times 9 minus 5, so x minus a, times 9 minus 7, x minus b, times 9 minus 6, which is x minus c. So q is equal to the square root of 9 times 9 minus 5, which is 4, times 9 minus 7, which is 2, times 9 minus 6, which is 3. So we have q is then equal to the square root of all those multiplied together, which gives us 216. And when we take the square root of 216, we find that q, the area of this triangle, triangle ABC, has a value of roughly 14.7 units squared. So that's how you use Heron's formula. It's not too difficult, and you can use it to solve for the area of any triangle in which you know all three side lengths.